Breaking news this morning, police say they've arrested the man who dragged an off duty officer while shoplifting from a Home Depot. So this was in the Gulf Gate area yesterday. The officer fired her gun and at the time wasn't sure if anyone had been hit. Well, about 30 minutes ago, we are learning HPD tweeted that the man had been shot in the leg, taken to the hospital. They'll release his name when he's charged, so it sounds like we'll have another update for you uh, coming up later throughout the morning. Also breaking, a man charged overnight with murdering his wife. His case went before a judge in probable cause court, and we have Maya Shea live to give us more uh, details. Well, when Christopher Collins and authorities went to his home to check on his wife a week ago, they found her body. Now, he wasn't arrested at the time, but investigators immediately suspected him. He is now charged with her murder, and the details, frankly, are pretty bizarre. The couple who widely shared their living and lifestyle situations and their pets and everything they did on various social media pages, well, Investigators say he did not share any details of what allegedly took place, which is that he developed this elaborate ruse saying there was a stranger in the house that tried to steal from them. And then he hid allegedly her passport and wallet at the gym locker room. But investigators then found a live bullet that is similar to the bullet that killed the wife in his pocket. So all this adding up to some very disturbing details about this alleged murder. Collins himself did not appear in court for mental health reasons, but this case is just getting started. We're live downtown, Maya Shea, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, taking a look at your day ahead. New incentive this morning to find the man accused of killing his girlfriend in front of her five young children. Now, since first bringing you this story earlier this week, ABC 13 has actually learned that Shatirka Anderson was pregnant with her sixth child. Her boyfriend, Johnny Landry, who we showed you a mugshot a moment ago, is still on the run. And as the rest of us get ready to sit down for a Thanksgiving feast sometime today, Texas Governor Abbott made a pre-Thanksgiving visit to Del Rio to visit with members of the Texas Military Department and Texas DPS who are staffing the border to address security concerns. OK, also we're a little more than two hours away from the start of the HEB parade in downtown Houston. This is a live look. The route begins at Lamar and Smith Street heading north to Walker Street, then east to Milam Street, south to P Street, north of Louisiana Street, and then it ends at Dallas. <laughs> so you guys, happy Thanksgiving. If you're headed down there, just be safe. Don't forget the uh, raincoat yes. and the umbrella. Yes, ma'am. Definitely need that today. We'll yeah. see you on the stream at 7. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Take care.